Welcome to Awesome Code. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will write a Flask framework function that allow both the GET and POST request. So first, we are going to import from Flask. We can type from Flask import request. And then we get the app by calling flask and passing flask demo string. And now I'm going to set the route that will be at app dot route. This will be our index route. And it will accept methods, get and post. Get and post. So I'm going to define a function with which will accept both get and post request. It's going to be over here. And now define our method index. And if request dot method is a post, if we get a post request, then we are going to, this should be double equal sign over here. And now we are going to check if request has data then we are going to return some string return got a post request with a body else if there is no data uh, with the post request then we are going to return got a post request without a body And if the request is not a post, it will be a get request. So we are going to do else for that. Else return a string with the message. It is a get request. or just uh, got a get request. That will be more good. Get a get request. Need to save our program. We need to fix the indentation over here. Let's come under this if. And this will be for the outer if. Now it looks good. The call. 
on sign over here is missing. So it's gonna be... If you don't have a Flask install on your system, you can use a pip command to install. We are going to use pip3. Pip3 install Flask and hit enter. Now we have a Flask installed on our system. We can run our script. I also need to import a flask uh, at the top over here. It's going to be flask. From flask, import flask. From. Flask import flask. Just save our script and run. Now to run our app, we can use export flask underscore app. And this will be set to our app name. Mine is flask underscore demo dot py. And then I can use just a flask run command to run our application. And we can see it printed running on this URL. So I'm going to open a, another terminal. And from this terminal, I'm going to make a get request to this URL over here. Let me try to copy this URL. So copy and use a curve and just enter the URL of our app and hit enter and you can see over here we get the message got a get request and now we are going to try a post request first i'm just going to clear it up and now write a curl command for the post it's gonna be curl with minus d or dash d option and this will be a text just a hello world and with the edge option and we need to send set the content type we are sending it's gonna be content type is set to plain text and with the dash x option and post and here will be our url or if i have that urls i can just paste it over here and just hit enter and we can see the message over here got a post request with the body so this way we can make a get and a post request and handle those requests in a function in Flask framework. To keep on learning, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Awesome Code, keep supporting me, and thank you for watching.